I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am in Fayetteville at Camp Memorial Gardens. And this is a cemetery that I did not expect to come to today. I was at um, a different grave. I was at the Iron Sheik's grave, 20 minutes away from here. And the lovely people at that cemetery, I believe the cemeteries are owned by the same company. She said, if you're a wrestling fan, did you know that Paul Orndorff is nearby? And I said, no, I didn't. Now, he's on my list to cover but I have a long list of people. And sometimes I just don't even, you know, I forget uh, which era I'm in and stuff. And you know, I probably would have looked it up before I left. In my Georgia list, I would have seen the name and said, I got to do Mr. Wonderful, Paul Wondorf. But I didn't realize he was this close. So it was a 20 minute drive down the street. And here I am, Paul Orndorf, one, one of the biggest wrestlers of the 80s. Uh, just charismatic, huge, strong, villainous. His feud with Hulk Hogan was legendary. That helped propel Hulk Hogan to another level as well. He's right down at the end of the road here. And uh, I can see it. I can see him now, Mr. Wonderful. Uh, I wasn't prepared to do Paul Nordorf's grave today. So I'm going to just um, tell you a little bit what I know, what I can remember about him. I've got some information from Find a Grave, um, which is a great resource. And also the pin helped me find Mr. Wonderful here. Directed me right to the grave, exactly too. So let's uh, walk over there right now to Paul Orndorff's grave. I got out of my car and I was, I'm so unprepared to uh, do a video about Paul Orndorff. I'm, I'm ready to, don't get me wrong, but I didn't you know, attach my external mic. I just started talking to the camera. So I hope the sound was okay, but it's no wind. It's a very, really, really calm, peaceful day. It started off not so calm and peaceful. The sun's out now. A little after four. The first WrestleMania. Do you remember the first WrestleMania? He was with Roddy Roddy Piper. Roddy Roddy Piper, who I've done a video on, against Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. That was 1985, the first WrestleMania. He was a running back for the University of Tampa. I believe he grew up in near near Tampa in Brandon. Where I've been, uh, I was there to do another video recently in Brandon. He was a 12th round uh, pick for the New Orleans Saints. But he did play for the world. He didn't play for the Saints. He played for the World Football League's Jacksonville Sharks for one year. Then in 1976, he began a career in pro wrestling. He wrestled in the Southern United States and Japan before he signed with the WWF now known as the WWE, in 1983. That's where he got the nickname Mr. Wonderful and a rivalry with Hulk Hogan. So him and Roddy Roddy Piper, they lost the match. And he went on to wrestle in the WWF for the next several years before retiring in 1988. Two years later, in 1990, he joined WCW World Championship Wrestling and wrestled for about one year before leaving for other independent uh, wrestling circuits around the country. 1992, he came back to WCW and wrestled for them sporadically for the next several years before retiring again in 2001. In 2005, he was named to the WWE Hall of Fame. 
Here he is. So around 2011, Paul Orndorff told a radio show, a serious satellite radio show, that he had been diagnosed with throat cancer. And that he was in critical condition and was on a feeding tube with a few days to live. Then, on August 10th of that same year, he announced it was gone. In July 2016, he was part of a class action lawsuit against WWE, which alleged that wrestlers incurred long-term neurological injuries and that the company routinely failed to care for them and fraudulently misrepresented and concealed the nature and extent of those injuries. The case was dismissed and then they appealed in September 2020. An appeal was dismissed by a federal appeals court. May of 2021, Paul's son Travis posted a video of him at a medical facility. And I think a lot of us saw that and were shocked at what we saw because we're used to seeing Paul Orndorff as this big, huge, hulking guy. I mean, he was just the, the muscles and he was, he was Mr. Wonderful. The guy was huge. In the video, he was seen in a state of reported dementia. Now his son Travis believed that his father's dementia was a result of CTE, which is chronic brain injury from blows to the head. He died July 12, 2021, at the age of 71, up in Atlanta, which is north of here. Here he is, Paul Parlette, Mr. Wonderful, October 29, 1949 to July 12, 2021, loving husband, daddy, Papa Orndorf and his wife Rhonda Renee still with us oh, for a very long time February 9th 1951 loving wife mom mama Papa and mama Got some nice lights out around it so it's all lit up at night if you're looking for Paul Orndorff you're going to come in to the cemetery go all the way to the back to almost the, set, the second last row make a right can't miss him right by the right the last, one of the last graves by the tree line here he is Paul Orndorff And that's my visit to, I think, I was just think, trying to remember all this filming there. I'm not sure if I was into wrestling at WrestleMania 1985 or if it was WrestleMania 2. But I saw WrestleMania. I know I saw it. I saw, I must have seen a videotape of it. Videotape. Wow. Um, but yeah. Who doesn't remember, if you're a wrestling fan from the 80s, you know Paul Orndorff. You remember Paul Orndorff. Charismatic. Big muscles. Bit of a... I mean, he was a villain. He was a... He was great at it. Rest in peace, Paul. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you all. Peace out.